so for about sixty seventy dollars I'm gonna build a roof for my dog's kennel because all I can find are about a hundred to hundred fifty dollars for the ten by ten kennels so this picture which I'll put up now uh, illustrates a bracket that I couldn't find in any store and this picture links to a page where someone's selling this bracket set for thirty three dollars you, you still have to buy this long pipe that goes across and the tarp basically you're just paying for the brackets and the bungees what I've got is a 10 foot 6 inch piece of fencing material uh, I have some leftover 2 inch PVC piping I went and bought some U-bolts that's gonna take the place of the brackets instead of buying those brackets from the guy I'm gonna use the U-bolts through this piece of PVC vertically and then I bought a kind of expensive tarp but I needed to make sure it was UV resistant uh, weather resistant and all that normal stuff but it was important that it was UV resistant because I've had tarps in the past that just fall apart in the Sun the foam this is like pipe insulation foam is like two dollars a piece the reason I bought those is because the fencing material on my kennel sticks above the top pipe a little bit and I've had issues where that uh, the, the tarp kind of going up and down in the wind those just wear in through the tarp and that's where the tears start in my tarps so these are gonna go along the top edge where the tarp is going to be pulled tight down and then strapped down on the side of the uh, kennel video of the old tarp before it goes away. I don't think this tarp was uh, UV rated from what I remember. So it makes sense that it just fell apart. What is I think I'm going to just cut that one piece in half. I'm gonna take a piece of this old PVC up in this, probably one of these center ones or something that's not bent. And I'm gonna run it straight up the middle of the two inch PVC piping I have so that it'll come down really far down and zip tie all the way down and hopefully to this and then even past it and just zip tie it up the entire chain link and then on the ends I can use the bungees that I have to pull the tarp tight or I'll zip tie the tarp too. I probably zip tie the tarp just because I don't want to give it too much room to uh, wiggle. Three feet and eight will be the half. So instead now I have a pipe that's a little bit longer than the other one, which is fine because it, it wasn't really something that needed to be precise, but it was a mistake, so eyeballing it. I hide that one. It's too small. Way too small. Switching bits, and really I don't need to worry about the hole being, you know, tight around this threading because it's got the plate that'll pull tight against the pipe anyways. So I'm just going to switch to a bigger bit, and I'll just go overkill, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to go overkill. Wow, plenty of room. But yeah, now I just need to make all the rest of the holes. And these two holes will be this way. And then when I get to the other end, they'll be they'll be this way so that they're facing the uh, the 90 degrees different from this one. And hey, don't forget to measure the uh, distance between the bolts. Which is also probably another good reason to use a bigger hole, just to give it some wiggle room. Plenty of room to fit that pipe in there, and then just tighten it down. Now what this is going to do is, because this would be the top of the kennel, where the top bar is, and you tighten this down to that top bar, so that this is sitting on the top, and then it raises up and holds this uh, crossbar to hold the tarp. So I just want to make sure that that's pretty clear that these are 90 degrees, these holes are.
So back in the garage, I'm going to cut a slot the best I can down this about three and a half inches so I can slide this up the, the support pipes and that U-bolt will slide into that channel and then the rest of this will help hold the, the support. dark a bit quicker than I thought it was going to but pulled it tight over that foam so that nothing would get cut on like these pieces that hang out so pulled it tight over that and then so zip ties in the corner to hold it tight Added a bungee and stretched it all the way out as tight as I could. Bent these toward each other. I bent this one in a little bit too much, but I bent it in because the 10 by the extra six inches was almost not enough. And in that case, I would have just went and got a uh, extension, like an adapter, to extend that a little bit. But overall, worked out. And I end up with a little bit extra. I could have pulled it back a bit, I guess. I'll show you. It's not. It's not moving. The, I'm shaking it. It's not moving the. Uh, it's not moving up there. It's like moving everything down here. So even if the wind gets going, there's nothing to cut it up here. And now there's nothing to cut it on these edges either. Whenever it does break, I'll make a video about it, and I'm hoping that that's not for at least two, maybe three years. And maybe I just have to replace this tarp. Maybe everything else will be just fine. But we'll see. So yeah, if this can help somebody, save a little bit of money. Maybe you already have a tarp, and you can throw the rest together or something. Or you have all the pipes and pieces I showed, and the tarp's the only thing you got to go buy or something. Just if it helps somebody, save a bit of money. That's what counts. So, see you guys in the next one.